As the world contemplates its recovery from the economic and social ravages of COVID, it's becoming increasingly clear that the new and evolving economy will demand different talent. People who can solve complex problems, think critically, be original, demonstrate initiative, and drive innovation. Today, I want to focus briefly on what I believe to be the most potent competency for thriving in a complex world, creativity. Back as far as 2010, IBM's global CEO study identified creativity as the top skill required to navigate an increasingly complicated world and to overcome massive shifts that are affecting business. That work was reinforced by research put out by the World Economic Forum in 2020. So what is creativity exactly? Why does it matter? And can it be taught? Some see creativity in manifest form as visual art on a canvas or performance art on a stage. The definition I use goes well beyond that and is best described as a learned skill that opens the mind and has the potential to galvanize inclusive, tolerant, peaceful societies. Creativity is foundational to innovation, which has been defined as the phenomenon of introducing, launching, commercializing, or exploiting a novelty that has business value. Creativity is a way of thinking, a way of problem solving, a way of contemplating ideas, alternatives, possibilities that move the world forward. It entails new ways of understanding, new ways of meaning, new modes of expression, and new ways of producing knowledge and original ideas. Fundamentally, creativity is an idea engine. And best of all, it can be learned and it's infinite. In his book, The Creative Class and Economic Development, Richard Florida notes that creativity is an unlimited resource that is constantly renewed and improved by education, on-the-job experience, and the stimulation that's provided by human interaction. This challenges the widely held belief that creativity is innate. While that may be the case for some, it can without question be learned through formal educational environments, through curation, through lived experience. Research, for example, has widely affirmed that creativity can be enhanced through teaching and training. Creative problem solving and human-centered design, for example, are processes that can be taught and learned. I'm proud to lead at a globally celebrated post-secondary learning institution renowned for being Canada's creative campus. We live an ethos of trailblazing. One of our vanguard programs is animation. In his book, Planet Canada, John Stackhouse makes reference to Sheridan alumni who worked with James Cameron on groundbreaking films like Terminator 2, Aliens, and Titanic. That obviously made me very proud, but I was most struck by Cameron's assertion that it was inherently Canadian to quote, dream with your eyes wide open. That's creativity. And in the post pandemic landscape, it is the vital engine that will enable all of us to experiment and drive change, even when knowledge runs out.